Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're looking at Dinosaurs Rediscovered, The Scientific Revolution in Paleontology by Michael J. Benton. Michael J. Benton is a British paleontologist and author of many books on paleontology and dinosaurs. He also wrote a book that I reviewed on this channel, When Life Nearly Died, The Greatest Mass Extinction of All Time. I really enjoyed that book, and that was what made me want to start looking for more of his work, which brings us to Dinosaurs Rediscovered. This edition is a reprint, but the book was originally published in 2019 by Thames & Hudson, the same company that brought us Neanderthals Rediscovered and Homo Sapiens Rediscovered, both of which I loved. And by the way, my review for every book mentioned in this video can be found in the description box. The idea behind Dinosaurs Rediscovered is to take two very big topics, dinosaurs and science, and bring them together for those who love both. Benton stresses that the study of dinosaurs and paleontology draws a lot of speculation from scientists, educators, entertainment producers, and artists, etc., because there's just so much we don't know, and it can be hard to come by good evidence. And frankly, it's just an exceedingly fascinating subject when you stop and think about the fact that these things actually existed and, in fact, occupied the Earth much longer than we have. And Benton wants to make sure that we appreciate that speculation is distinct from the methods of science and appreciate how they are used to build what we know about dinosaurs. This book serves to illustrate how the growth and advancing of real scientific methods over the years has allowed science to replace speculation a little bit at a time, effectively providing real ways of discovering rather than relying so much on what we think could be the case. Benton takes us through many questions on dinosaurs and shows how developments in science has yielded answers to these questions, and many of them were questions that some people once felt could remain unanswered, things like the colors of some dinosaur's skin. It turns out that the melanosomes that we produce, which are responsible for determining skin color and hair color, are able to remain readable to scientists through the fossilization process, and by analyzing them, we can determine how they colored the specimen they came from. This is the kind of thing that we see all throughout this book. Of course, with detailed descriptions and examples and usually a history of the discovery. This book goes into how scientists use whatever methods they can in order to learn more about dinosaurs. And sometimes they don't have very much information to work with, or so it seems until somebody realizes that there's more information there than was once realized. A fossil only provides so much information, but by combining data from different fields, and seeing how they overlap with each other, we can learn the answers to new questions which each field on their own would have been inadequate to answer. Things like uh, combining mathematical models of footprint spacing with anatomical knowledge, we can determine things like how fast a dinosaur was running when it left the tracks. Or by analyzing tooth marks left in bones, we can get an idea of the bite force potential of the animal that left them which we can identify by comparing the bones to the actual teeth. You'll learn about dinosaur phylogeny and evolution, the different time periods they lived in and what that means, details on their anatomy, their growth and development, and their diets and behaviors, how they moved, and ultimately their extinction, and how all of that compares to how dinosaurs have been depicted in popular media. And I appreciate that the author also acknowledges the limitations of the technologies that he's talking about. The book also has a really nice afterword about science in general. Dinosaurs Rediscovered is a pretty good-sized book at about 300 pages, but it's full of maps, models, data analysis with graphs, and lots of pictures. It's for people who love dinosaurs, but just as much for people who love science in general. I'd say it's not quite as fun to read as something like Steve Brissotti's The Rise and Fall of Dinosaurs, but it is as good. It's just more science-oriented. So if you're just a dinosaur enthusiast, you may enjoy Brissotti's book a little more. This one is perfect for somebody 
who has read Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs and would like more scientific information on the dinosaurs. The book does feature somewhat small print. Uh, it does have lots of pictures, drawings, and photos, black and white and in color. There are quite a few pages that show a specific dinosaur and some stats on them. Each one features who named the dinosaur and when, what time period they lived in, whether Triassic, Jurassic, or Cretaceous, what areas in the world they've been found in, their taxonomic classification, size, and weight, and little-known fact about them. I really love this aspect of the book, and I'm sure just about all of your favorites will be featured somewhere in this book. Okay, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in dinosaurs, but you really want to know how we know the things that we know about them, this is the book for you. You can also find a really excellent presentation on this material on YouTube if you type in Dinosaurs Rediscovered and the author's name. Otherwise, you definitely want to check out Dinosaurs Rediscovered by Michael J. Benton.